there friends and welcome back for another Simon Hurley Create video. This is Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be using this gorgeous set called Brilliant Baubles. I love all of the gorgeous Christmas ornaments that are in here and it has so many possibilities. We're going to try to make a one layer card today. It's not as super successful, but I will show you a way that you can make a couple cards out of it. Uh, we're also going to be using some reinkers, although those aren't necessary per se, but I like to use them for watercoloring. And so let's get into the stamping. I have a piece of watercolor cardstock. This is just some random cardstock that I had. Uh, it's like 140 pound weight. And I have cut that down to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And I've put this into my mini Misty. I'm going to use a magic powder bag over that and then sweep away the excess. And then I'm going to ink up my images from that brilliant bobble stamp set with some Ursafine Claire Nocturne ink. I'm going to actually stamp this a couple times because this is a fairly textured watercolor paper and I also want to heat emboss this. You could get away with not heat embossing, but I find that it helps a little bit. So I'm going to just cover that with some clear embossing powder. This happens to be a clear embossing powder from Brutus Monroe called Icicle. And I'm just going to heat that until that is smooth and melted and you'll notice that it'll go from like a, like a foggy image, then it'll get to bright black and shiny. And I just like to heat emboss sometimes when I'm going to watercolor just simply because that helps to keep the images or the um, water kind of contained. So I'm going to start by putting some clean water. I'm going to be real liberal with how much water I put down and then I'm going to water down my re-inker. That re-inker is the clear skies and I noticed that I didn't do a very good job of right there on that left hand side of getting that... Um, mixed out pretty well if you, if you see what I'm saying you'll notice because I'm not gonna be able to move that too much after once we get started uh, so you could use your stamp pads if you wanted but I figured I had the reinkers and this would work just as well so again with the clear water and then just slapping down some of that color and fading that out I'm not worried about that left hand edge. I'm going to end up covering that mostly with some stamping, but we're going to heat that before and let it dry before we move on to our next step. All right, so our next step will be to do some more stamping. I want to stamp the, um, the string that's attached to the bobble. And my suggestion is actually to use either just a regular stamp block or a bigger Misty. I didn't ruin my image by doing this or ruin the stamp, but you know, it does go outside of the box. So you definitely don't want to push too hard because you could end up hurting your stamp. Okay, so next we want to stamp our greenery. So I am going to grab that stamp and put that inside of my Misty at the very top. So it's going to look like the string is going past that. And obviously that'll just make it look like it's attached to a branch that's higher up. One of the things that I love about Simon Hurley's inks is that they are very easy to layer. And so, yeah, I didn't get a great impression, keeping in mind that this is watercolor paper and that's pretty textured, but you can keep layering that ink until and make it darker if you'd like and get it to the point that you want it to. No, I did not clean off my stamp. I'm doing the lazy thing here, but I'm just being really careful when I pick it up and set it down because once I set it down, then obviously the ink is gonna transfer. So I'm just trying to be careful. Uh, and then just inking that up about three times and then I'm going to move it and do it one more time even just on that that edge and we'll stamp it again about three times just trying to hit that edge and you'll notice where it crosses at the top it definitely is darker all right so we're done with that and now we're going to move on to doing a little bit more of our water coloring so I'm going to pull out some game over and bee sting reinkers. you don't need a lot I've just got little drops of it and I have a tiny paintbrush that I'm going to put or use to actually apply that, but I'm putting down a wash of water. I end up putting way too much water, to be honest with you. And it also could be the paper that I'm using. It could be that I'm using a uh, fairly cheap paper here, but, uh, and that's just what I grabbed. It's not that that's what I meant to do or wanted to do. I just grabbed it and had this idea in my head. So that's what I was going with. So I'm putting down some bee sting and I'm kind of letting the water move that a little bit which is great and it's doing a wonderful job but you're going to see here in a little bit that it actually takes it because I put too much water down it takes it outside of the embossed line and this is going to be a lesson in how we can fix that so now I'm grabbing the game over and just putting that on the edges and letting that work its way into the center but I'm only putting it on the edges and it looks really good right now it, it's 
really pretty. I love this look and I'm finding that I'm like, oh, this is going exactly how I want it to. But now I'm starting to see that on that left hand side, it is seeping out of the side. So I'll show you. It's seeping out and it ends up seeping out on the right hand side as well. Trying to put water down on it and wipe it up isn't helping. So I'm going to fix this by grabbing out my Arteza metallic watercolors. I'm going to grab the silver. So this will give it some shimmer and it'll even cover that up a little bit because these are a little bit more opaque because they have that shimmer in them. So I'll just put a little drop of water from a dropper that I have and I'll mix that around and then I'm going to add that all around the outside of my ornament and just make it look kind of ethereal is what I'm going for. Just spreading that out, pouncing the water, pouncing the color until it fades out. It's going to make this ornament look like it's almost shining I guess and then I'll even paint the stars on the inside of the ornament and I'll also paint the top of the ornament with that as well so it'll all kind of just I guess go together it'll be a little bit more cohesive so once I get all that done I'm gonna wrap that color around but you'll notice on that right hand side it's seeping out too so again I added way too much water and again it could also be the paper that I used so here we go, just painting some more of that on there and then spreading it out with some clean water. And we'll do that all around that edge. And I actually at first wasn't super excited about that look, but then the more I looked at it and the more I finished it off, I loved it. I just thought it made it look like it was almost shining. And then I'm gonna take some of the silver and I'm gonna splatter it all over my card panel here. So this way it'll get some nice silver splatters all over that background. Love splattering. Don't do it near enough, really. <laughs> and then I will heat set that so that that is good and dry. Because I do want to cut down my panel. At this point I decided it's obviously not going to be a one layer card. It can't be, right? Because there's no back to that. So we're going to trim this down just a little bit, about an eighth of an inch off every edge. So this way it'll end up being four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then I will have a card base that is some of the Simon Hurley Creates dark white cardstock that I've cut down to five and a half by eight and a half inches and I'm scoring at four and a quarter inches. So this will be a side folding A2 size card. I did want to do some stamping on the inside of that, but I was kind of silly and attached this to the front which ends up not being a problem, honestly, but you always, if you're gonna stamp on the inside, you should probably do that first, just in case you screw up the stamping on the inside. So here we go, we've got it. This is the inside of the card. I grabbed a couple of those baubles and I'm going to stamp these with some Game Over ink. And to be honest with you, I love the way this looks. This is another card idea. So yes, this is in the inside of my card, but you could very easily replicate this and do this for the outside of your card. If you have lots of Christmas cards to make, which I typically do, this would be a good way to do it. It ends up being a really pretty look. And I only stamp the, the green, greenery just one time each. I don't you know layer up the color too much. And I'll just shift my paper stamp down my greenery and then move it and stamp it down again but I actually really love all the white in the background and I like that the baubles are just their outlines I think that's fun we're gonna stamp Merry Christmas on the inside as well and then we'll take our stamp block and we'll stamp our string using some more black ink but like I said this is two card ideas. This just happens to be on the inside of mine. <laughs> and I love it. Love those baubles. So here we go. That finishes off our card. I would love to know what you think of this. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by, leaving all the love that you guys do, using my affiliate links. You guys are incredible. And I will see you very soon in another video. Bye, everybody.